A.K.A. Miss Fabulous, A.K.A. DJ Deesky. Tune in weekdays, 9 p.m. Central, Sundays at 6 p.m. Just check your local listings for real times in real time. I'm talking about, you know, got the part-time gig, so it might not be every night, but it's at least twice a week now. Boss Ladies Radio Show. Download the Spreaker app. Search Boss Ladies Show for our entrepreneurs, local entrepreneurs worldwide, 9 p.m. weekdays. Sundays at 6. Also catch Boss Ladies Radio Show. Weekdays at 9. Sundays at 6 p.m. Central. 9 p.m. Central. For our local artists. Underground artists worldwide. Yes, we do support both. Worldwide. See you in the chat room. Coming soon to Boss Ladies Radio Show Matchmaker. Featuring me, Queen Billie Jean. This is Norris the Key, coming soon to Boss Lady's Radio Show, May 21st, 9 p.m. Central, Matchmaker. It works for real, for real. It's going to be a great show, y'all. Pay attention and listen to Hey, yo. It's your boy, Drazy, CEO, DJ, and programmer for Dre's Radio Cafe. You got a banging cut that you want to be heard? Got a show coming up? A gig? You want to sell some products? You name it. Send it to Dre's Radio Cafe. Dre's Radio Cafe is a 24-7 internet radio station designed with you in mind. By being heard by 150,000 listeners every month. What does that mean to you? That means more than just going to YouTube. More than just going to Google. More than just having the SoundCloud up. More than just having any of the other programs set up. Alright? So check this out. What I want you to do is send your banging cuts, your ads, anything that you have involved that you want to get involved with to D-R-E-Z-E-Y-2-1 at Yahoo.com. That's D-R-E-Z-E-Y-2-1 at Yahoo.com. That's Dre's Radio Cafe, 24-7 radio, designed with you in mind. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Peace, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Brother Rob, the Poet Brown, or Brother Rob, if you don't feel like saying the whole thing. Come take some time out to check out the interview I did with the beautiful Dee Dee Ski of Boss Lady Radio, award-winning Boss Lady Radio, that is. I'm a spoken word artist from out of the DMV, proud representative of Dub C's Entertainment. On this interview, you'll hear me talking about the album, which just came out on Kunaki. You can also hear a song and purchase a song from the interview, download and press play. Brother Rob, the Poet Brown, featuring Mr. Dub C, is available on Spotify, Apple, and all downstream products. You can also listen if you want to and purchase what you think, huh? Available on Amazon. Peace and blessings. Enjoy and look for bigger things to come in the near future. Brother Rob.
kid bops, let it down the mountain, making our great escape. Your tender but sweet to the taste, decked out in lace. Brother Rob, butt naked, wearing a band man cape. If this were the Olympics, we'd be going the fastest. Sweat and steam glistening from both of our asses. Our bodies together make this rhythmic clap. Like my cape in the way, going flap, 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 flap. To infinity and beyond, Shazam, we flew past some skiers, they was all like, damn! All they saw was a sweaty black flash, anyway, that's the way I saw us making love, what's up, you all right with that?
Promo God at Promo God Underground Sound Off Syndicated Radio Show, co founder of Team We and co owner of PUSO 82.3 FM, where the independent artists are the stars. Columbus, Ohio, stand up. We are here giving a big shout out to Boss Lady Radio from Ohio to Wisconsin. We see you, sweetheart. Team We, believe in yourself today. Yo, man, I heard the rumor going around about this dude and that new rig at the king, man. I heard yeah, that he up, man. made loud, beats man. with one hand. People think that he a rapper. He ain't no rapper, man. You still making beats with one hand? Ooh, we what's this right this here, bro? Out. Let me listen to this. One hand. Deuce. Uh-huh. Struggle. Struggle. I got that. One hand. Deuce. I got that. Struggle. Struggle. One hand. Deuce. Uh-huh. One hand. Deuce. Struggle. Struggle. One hand. Deuce. Deuce. Uh-huh. Uh huh. No, he made it a king. Yeah, I'm back on my throne. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What we doing it wrong? Big rock. The hottest bitch from the one hand. Producer. I mean, man, it's going down because I'm back on the throne. I told y'all. Yeah, I told y'all I was coming back. <laughs> uh huh. Once again, it's on. Once again, I'm back on my throne. And I got the queen by my side. Uh huh, queen. What it do? This is a story about. Let me welcome y'all to the 22nd ride. Let me welcome y'all to my hood. 22nd ride. Yeah, we're gonna creep up on my block for a minute and see what's good. 22nd ride. 
You are now listening to Boss Lady Radio. Once again, it's your boy, Noah Yeager the King. I got another one to drop on y'all. Check it out. Yeah, y'all listening to the smooth styles of T-O-H-P, a.k.a. Noah Yeager the King. I told you I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat, yeah. <laughs> Here we go again, beat, yeah! Yeah, y'all listen to the smooth styles of T-O-H-P, a.k.a. Noriega the King. I told you I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, y'all listen to the smooth styles of T-O-H-P, a.k.a. Noriega the King. I told y'all I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, y'all listen to the smooth styles of T-O-H-P, a.k.a. Noriega the King. I told y'all I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat, yeah! <laughs> Coming soon to Boss Ladies Radio Show Matchmaker featuring me, Queen Billie Jean. This is Norris the King. Coming soon to Boss Ladies Radio Show May 21st, 9 p.m. Central. Matchmaker. It works for real, for real. It's going to be a great show, y'all. Pay attention and listen to it. Once again, it's on. I'm back with another banger, Noriega the King, a.k.a. T-O-H-P. Pay attention. <laughs> Once again, it's on. I'm back with another bag of Maria the King, aka TOHP. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Once again, it's on. I'm back with another Mega Nuria the King, aka TOHP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, y'all. I got some beats on the way. Check this out. This is the outro. Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and listening to the struggles of the one-hand producer demo. This your boy, Norris King, a.k.a. Noriega the King. You can find me on SoundCloud, Noriega the King, Facebook, Noriega the King. And I would like to give a big shout-out to Boss Lady Radio and the whole team. I thank you for every day putting me on your radio station giving me those spins. And if you guys would like to check out Boss Lady Radio, you can download the Streaker app on iOS or Play Store. Check it out. Boss Lady Radio, that's where it's at. Yeah. Coming soon to Boss Lady's radio show, Matchmaker, featuring me, Queen Billie Jean. This is Norris the King. Coming soon to Boss Lady's radio show, May 21st, 9 p.m. Central, Matchmaker. It works for real, for real. It's going to be a great show, y'all. 
pay attention and listen to. Yo, it's your boy Dub C, CEO of Dub C's Entertainment Network. Man, when I'm just chilling, trying to relax, I just need some entertainment away from what I'm doing. I tune in to Boss Lady Radio. She got something for everybody. Hit the chat room, y'all. Let's jam, Boss Lady. Do that. Do that. Damn, bro. Gotta be at home. I gotta get this off my chest. Man. That
D. Edwards for the new year 2022 we are kicking it with Boss Lady Radio award winning podcast radio station blowing up worldwide Boss Lady drop that ish sitting here thinking about you even though I just met you something about the way you captivated me Something about your nature You left something to my
keep it real Cause I ain't looking at her mind, dog. I'm looking at her bill And trill, she gotta be real and true And when it's going down, I'ma ride for my baby boo And beauty, it's in the eyes of a holder Long as I see her face when I look over my shoulder And the love is forgiving, keep it coming Because it's warm like a oven, yeah, that's my kind of woman You're my Just what to do if my feelings was on my sleeve Be the only time I'm in blue Other than once a month when I'm older My brother's gone, it don't matter what click you play When you kill because color's wrong Depressed when I relive the memories in my head Feeling precious or broke The closest to love is dead The death of my unborn Constantly in my head So hard to feed your family When you low on your bread Feeling like there's a target on my back at any time Not seeing your kids enough Can have you glancing at your nine Feeling like every time you turn around it's something new If you hear this then like me You pray decided not to shoot Melancholy Yeah Great Through the times that get too tough And you feel that life's too much I got you I got you Just know that I got you Just know that I got you And everything will be alright Just hold on, make it through the night And I got you just know that I got you. The feeling when you walk in, see somebody's in your place. You seeing passion and pleasure written over their face. Or when you walk in, all you see is an empty space. Either took it all and left, or loneliness has been the case. Feeling you're all alone, tired of breaking phones, can't collect what others owe. While collectors won't leave you alone, figuring out your meals, making magic became a skill. Damn, you lost your job, but God will weigh your will. You feeling a little sick, say your prayer, and God will heal. You hustle the steady struggle, but God will pay your bills. Telling you what I know, not just saying just what I feel from a shooter that's been a loser. I seen it, these words are real. In the shower, I shed a tear for my people no longer here. Though this left and rock it with me, swear double won't disappear. Many times it's way too hard to admit we need help. But even the strongest soldier couldn't serve by himself. Facts. Uh. Through the times that get too tough, and you feel that life's too much. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Just know that I got you. Just know that I got you. And everything will be alright. Just hold on, make it through the night. And I got you. I got you. Just know that I got you. Look, we all go through things, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, check 
on your people and let them know that they're not by themselves, be Real talk. I mean, I had my own little thing go, but you know what? I'm still here. And I got you. You got this from Lion House Kingdom to go Lion and Pies, yeah. Tell him you got this beef from the Bull Lion. Oh, come join us today. Encourage me to put the boss ladies ready on show. We dance in 9 p.m. Sit you in Sunday at 6 p.m. Sit you. Cola King Lion at Lion House right now in the Lion's Den, giving a big, big shout out to the Boss Lady Radio Station. You already know what time it is. I just wanted to do this for her. Um, I hope you enjoyed this intro. Love you, Boss Lady. Keep doing your thing. This is your boy, Takola Lion. Always be real. Always keep it there. Love you guys. What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show. Six-time award winning now. Spreaker Studios, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc. And award winning Dre's Radio Cafe, a.k.a. The Hangout, a.k.a. Dre's 8. And Mr. One and Only, the Noriega the King, award winning Noriega the King, one-hand producer, a.k.a. T-O-H-P, with the show entitled matchmaker you know what i'm saying you know what we gotta do we gotta rock the house off the loudly app some light some love you know your girl Deeski gotta rock the house let's go superstar saturday for a matchmaking couple in the building first time ever on boss Sadie's radio show and happy birthday, Randy Hitch. No, I'm talking about. We'll get to the chatters in a moment.
makes me be a part of you. Ooh, listen to the melody in every single word I speak. It can warm your heart, makes me be a part of you. Ooh, listen to the Although anything is easily explained to you There's no show sure my emotions are all too true I'm neither acting nor I'm changing personality Ooh. Although anything is easily explained to you You've never been It can walk I'm neither acting nor I'm changing personality
up next, exclusive from Miss Yolanda, Michelle Brooks Thompson. Then I met you. Let's go, y'all. Brought to you by Miss Yolanda. Agenda by talk to you by Boogie Report. Remember 
up next, we got that Rosalind candy. I want to feed you. Now, darling, I know you're hungry. And the goddess got something good with it. Just for you. Now, whatever your flavor is, your wish is my desire. But you already know what I got is gonna take you higher. I got a secret recipe that you love to eat. You can't get enough. It's the best meat. I got the Tawana Murphy, I can't say no.
Event Busby. You. know what time it is. It's time for Miss Fabulous All I Want off that Love Chronicles, the album.
Noriega the King and I met during one of Boss Lady's nights of hearing from new artists and some of the artists we have grown to love. When Noriega the King put his contact info in the chat of how to access his music, I feel my heart dip, flip, and some more groovy-ish. I had to know who this king who calls himself a one-handed producer really was and how has the love of music between us actually pulled at the very essence of who we are in real life. I believe I inboxes him first after listening to a few tracks just to introduce myself and of course see what my heart was going bananas about and to my surprise he answered me a poet through and through of epic proportions. He answered me, y'all. So we conversed about music and how that in itself poetry and that infusion is also tied closely like marriage to life in the most beautiful, interesting ways and how you will display it. Well, can encourage others and move storms away. And the rest goes as follow with left to say, we fell in love way before our debut date. I am his queen and Noriega is mine. Allow us to reintroduce to you all how allowing love to lead you in the right direction, you'll be just fine. Sincerely always with love, Billy, a.k.a. Poetry Mistress and award-winning Noriega. Norris, a.k.a. Noriega the King, T-O-H-P. Yeah, let's go, y'all. We got Superstar Saturday, you know what I'm saying? Matchmaker featuring award-winning Noriega the King, a.k.a. T-O-H-P and poetry mistress Billie Jean. Let's go, y'all. We are streaming on all digital platforms from here to there. Spotify, Apple, Google, you know what I'm saying? Deezer, CastBox, FM, and uh, many, many more. And if we ain't on there yet, including Amazon Music and all them other ones, we will be soon. And even some apps you don't even know about. Make sure y'all stay tuned. We gonna get them on the call in one moment. Right here on the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show. Let's go, y'all. Y'all, welcome back to another Boss Ladies Live Radio Show. Six-time award-winning now. Spreaker Studios, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc. Award-winning Dre's Radio Cafe, a.k.a. The Hangout, a.k.a. Dre's 8. And you know what I'm saying, award-winning Noriega the King, a.k.a. T-O-H-P with Billy Jean. Welcome back, welcome back to another show. You know what I'm saying? Man, before I get to the chatters in the chat room, I gotta go back to this hot dope. And I mean dope. Open mic tonight. We had Brother Rob the Poet Brown featuring Miss Fabulous Make Me Feel. We had Mozzie Guitar Groove, you know what I'm saying? Brought to you by Miss Yolanda. Boogie Report, you know what I'm talking about? Radio Drop from Miss Promo Guy Alex Moss would talk to me off that team We Part 4, 2021. And you know we had to have Noriega and the King in the building with a smooth bounce ride with me. And those exclusive intros from my hood. You know what I'm talking about? And the matchmaker drop. And then after that, we had Mr. Dub C's featuring Big Earn Shorty. And Naya Naya would ran away. New and exclusive first time played on Ball City Radio. And then we had award winning Laurie D. Edwards with that My Kind of Woman off that Poetic Love. You know what I'm saying? And Randy Hitch with Melancholy Double. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Many, many others, and I appreciate and shout out to all the ladies that's been really dropping them MP3s to Boss Lady 95895 at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? And we got a hell of a second half, so you make sure y'all stay tuned. But without further ado, we're going to drop that EDU in our lives with uh, Noriega King and Billy Jean. Let's go. Hello. Hello. What's Hello. Up? Hello. Welcome to the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show. Let's welcome Noriega the King and Billy Jean to the show, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this thing started. <laughs> okay. 
What's up, everybody? I'm Norris, aka Noriega the King. Hello, everybody. I am Billie Jean Queen, um, aka Project Mistress. <laughs> let's welcome that let's welcome him to the show y'all live in the chat room we got we got on the phone and in the chat room billy jean noriega the king in the building we got brother rob in the building we got solo nitty gritty little gam in the building y'all then we got um her uh larry d was in the building y'all Shout out and a salute to everybody that's joining in the chat room. Randy Hitch in the building. Know what I'm saying? Shout out and salute. Shout out and salute. Know what I'm talking about? We got a lot of people in here, y'all. Lori Lyons in the building. Let's welcome the chatters to the show, y'all. Seriously? That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, so um, definitely. Uh, you told us where you from, Nori. Uh, Mister Noriega, uh, Billy Jean, tell us where you from. Where are you airing from, baby? I am currently residing in St. Paul, Minnesota. Awesome. Mhm. St. Paul, stand up. Everybody in the city need to be listening to this, huh? I'm telling you. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, get straight to it. You know what I'm saying? We got your bio out the way. I mean, uh, tell us. What what brought this? I had no idea that you guys were getting together on hooking up and all that good stuff. So, give us like an introduction of what happened. How? You know? Yeah, you know, um, most things in life, I will say, happen under the nose of everybody that barely pays attention to it because everything in life, you know, like work, family, personal things, you never pay attention to the little things that the seeds that you plant that grow. So it's like um, just basically, like I keep telling people, me and Noriega the King actually feel like and we've actually conversed about this that we've known each other a very long time and it wasn't up until several months ago that we just put two and two together and absolutely without an undoubtable mind came up with four and it made sense um that i fell in love with his heart i fell in love with his spirit i fell in love with his gusto and his zeal for life and creating beats that was um what do you call that what did i say that it basically echoes within the heart and it makes sense that people gravitate towards it like myself that write poetry because poetry in itself is music and is beats and it's laced in everything that we do and life in general with everybody and it links us all together and so i i honestly do believe that there I wouldn't have been able not to fall in love with him. Okay. So there's several months and then you guys been to each other. Was this starting with childhood school like, or was it like growing, getting your, your rest of your, your second half of your adult life in the neighborhood? I mean, how did it all start? Well, I've been knowing her for since childhood, since oh. elementary school. Okay. And when she was, when we were talking on the phone one night, she mentioned some things. And I'm like, how do you know these things about me? And, and I don't even didn't know who you were. So she mentioned a couple of people that we knew that I was hanging out with and was talking a little mess about them. And I'm like, and she just kept on missing. She mentioned one of my brothers. And I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. And then I realized who she was because we were at a park and... We was all congregating, and she, I turned around, looked at her, and I said, she thinks she all that. And I mm. turned back around. So, and I turned back around, I never saw her again. Mm. And that's how it happened. And then when she mentioned that, it went from there. And it just was like, you know, everything about me before, you know, she described the picture I had when I was in elementary school. I'm like, how did you know about this shirt or these pants or this bucket? 
already seen. Mm. She knew about it before I could even get it out of my mouth. Wow. So, well, did y'all meet where y'all at now, or were y'all from the same city? Because she said Minnesota, uh, where you're from, Milwaukee. So, was this before or after? This was before. We, we met before. Okay. Before grade school. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we never knew it until she mentioned certain things. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That's crazy how people meet um, and link up. So, mm -hmm. now it's been, you get back in contact. Um, you got back in contact. How? What, did it start in the chat room or were you already talking prior to and you sort of connected there? So It started a oh, good Okay, it started in the chat room. Right. Oh, okay. I, I, I saw her name, and at first, you know how you think something is fake. I said, man, that's a fake name. That's a fake name, whatever, whatever. That's a you know, joke to myself. Mm -hmm. But I decided to look her up on Facebook, and when I looked her up and I saw the profile, I'm like, okay, it ain't fake, it's real. So uh -huh. I hit each one of the profiles, and when she responded, I responded back, told her who I was, I thanked her for being a fan. That's how it started, actually. Mm -hmm. I thanked her for being a fan. And then it was just like some telling me talk to her, get to know her. And then I started reading her in the chat room and seeing the things that she was saying. It just started conveying with my mind. Like, mm. it's something about her, and I just can't pick it up. And when I picked it up, I was like, you know what? She's a poet. And I like the way her, her, her style was, the way she put those words out there. It just captivated me. So then I said, you know, let's see where this goes as friends. So we started off as friends, started talking, and it just... Blossom from there. Wow. So and I'd like to add I'd like to add some things to that too. Yes, Real go quick. ahead. Also, also what's so beautiful about this is that I had beforehand um had the the spirit and the feeling that he would make his way back round this way, they say the side of the sun or side of the earth or whatever, back to me. And what was so interesting is that I used to write on poetry, and they're still probably up there on Facebook, write my poetry, and it was called Dear Future Husband. And it would be like I'm talking to him in the future sense, like, I know you forgot your lunch, whatever, I, I made you lunch, I took it to work, I hope you like the dress that I picked out to wear for you and stuff like that. And so talking with Noriega the King, and he relaying to me that he felt like, things like that were already happening that once we connected these dots together and linked together in an unbreakable bond chain that it made it made sense that he absolutely this is what was going on within his heart and within his head and what mm -hmm. he saw for the future so like i said it was there was never going to not be no way for us to be like hey you're it you're my it you're my one you know so it sounds like you've been like this since you guys were kids. You just didn't pinpoint it until some years later, right? Yes. That's crazy. I I'm enjoying that. Um, so now that you've surprised the heck out of me in doing this project, what, what made you say, hey, I want to get on and explain this? Because... Some would disagree that bringing your relationship to social media is not a good idea, and most relationships don't make it. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I can say um, I'm a private person when it comes to my relationship. I, I don't post a lot of things on social media about what I do, who I'm with, because I want our relationship to be sacred. You know, everybody right. doesn't need to know who she is, what she does, because that's between me and her. Right. You know, and if she posted something, I, you know, I'm good with it. You know, with me, I'm private. I, I keep it on a low key because everybody doesn't need to know, you know. So I brought it to the forefront because I want people to know who she is, you know, because she is a queen. She is a beautiful woman, you know, and she deserves to have shine like anybody else in the world. So, you know, so that's the reason why I decided to say, let's do this matchmaker. See, you know, let people know that real love can happen. Even through radio, and it mm. happened through Boss Lady Radio Show. So, 
kudos to you, you know, and, and thank you for this opportunity for me to meet her on the way I met her. You welcome. If it wasn't for your show, I wouldn't have met her. You know, mm. so and it went a blossom to what it you know blossom to. So and mm. see, I'm the opposite of him because it's it's not that I post everything on there. It's just that I've learned that love over the years is not necessarily shy it's not necessarily um boastful either it's just basically reaffirming to thyself and to others hey this is exactly what it looks like if you want to know what it smells like it's all different types of flowers if you want to know what it looks like it's all types of ethnicities and cultures and and food and good times mixed together in different elements of the earth and all of that good stuff so me displaying on my page poetry and my love for him as well as showing pictures of us together puts that on notice like this is what love is actually in real life as opposed to reading it in a fantasy book or a magazine or somebody talking about um Mm -hmm. you know how these gurus are Mm -hmm. talking about something that they basically really do not know anything about because how do you sit up high and speak about something that you are doing the total opposite behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. So what I love about him is that I can express these things and he'll sense it already. And he's like, I know that poem is going to be phenomenal. Do mm-hmm. you have a title? And most of my poetry, 98% has no title at all because the way I write it and convey it, I want the reader to feel as though they wrote it themselves because me reading it back to myself mm-hmm. makes me feel just like that. Like, Hey, She's talking about me, and it makes sense, and I'm not going to give up hope because love can happen in a blink of an eye, just Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, and and it sounds like you guys would agree that it can happen anywhere. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's not a walk in the park every single time someone gets together. What are your thoughts on that? Like, this simple-mindedness of how people should meet, how people should date, um, how soon, how late. What what is that about? What do you think? Well, I think people should also first off find yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sit back mm-hmm. and take a year, two years to figure out what you really want in a relationship. Because if you rush a relationship, you're going into a relationship that's not healthy. Yeah, you know, you have to first off find yourself, know what you're not going to accept, know what you are going to accept. And understand that. So then when you meet the person that you talk to, y'all can be on the same mind frame me and Billy is on with everything with relationships. You know, you have to make it known that this is what I've been through. This is what I'm not going to go through in this new relationship. I'm not going to bring my past into my new relationship or anything because I don't want it to ruin the the, the future that we're trying to build. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, and the thing also is you're not going to throw up in each other's face things that, you know, you two have been through simply because what I say or what you may do kind of resembles the past or whatever. Got to understand date, Mm -hmm. place, and time are, you know what I mean, different things. We're different people from who we were five minutes ago. So we're not going to be those people. So we shouldn't hold each other to the caliber of, well, you said this or you Mm -hmm. did that because that's not going to make any sense for the here and the now and where we're headed to. And I just, I just know that a lot of people can benefit if you sit down and you get to know yourself Mm -hmm. and you get to know and understand your mate in a way that, it's uh, also compromise and it's also understanding what they've been through, even if they don't want to speak about it. Right. And those that do speak about it, they're not speaking about it like, I'll never get over this. They're mm-hmm. speaking about it like, hey, I've been through this, but guess what? I'm victorious. And, you know, me talking about it is healing. So let's move forward and maybe we can inspire some people and encourage the, encourage them to purge themselves of those old things and you know go forward and whatnot mm-hmm. and also it's about as being friends as we start off as friends and friends and communication i've always said this communication is the key in your friendship and your relationship mm-hmm. if you don't have communication you don't have nothing 
Yeah. Absolutely. Don't have. It. So if you arguing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that's not communication. That's more frustration on the, the your mind, your brain, your soul, everything. everything. So the relationship is not, it's going to fail. Mm-hmm. You, you, you got to have that communication where you can sit down and talk to your mate about what's going on. Regardless of how you feel, she has to understand and convey that you feel this way. This is how it's, you, you got to just 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 talk about it. You know, you, you got to be willing to listen to that right. and understand that it it doesn't come from a place of hurt. It mm-hmm. comes from a place of understand. this is yeah, this is understanding. This is my knowledge of what you have told me and what you've been through and. I can't promise that I won't bring you through those things because it may look different coming from me. But I can tell you one thing. Once we recognize that we're headed in that direction, we can always go the next route. You know what I mean? Go around this very thing. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to entertain the thoughts and ideologies of other people as to what that is supposed to look like. um, When you're supposed to do it. Are you too old and all that other stuff? I will tell you, I am a proud 39-year-old woman who is Mm. not a hopeless romantic. I'm a hopeful romantic, which means I have love for love. Mm -hmm. And I love everything that love represents, the colors, the smells, the way it looks, the way it talks, the way it maneuvers. So I'm not going to ever look at something like, oh, no, that'll never happen for me, or, oh, no, that person shouldn't have did this or that. I'm always going to know that there is something in everything Mm -hmm. that is very beautiful, and somebody's going to find it beautiful, no matter what you look like, no matter what you talk like, anything. It's going to be there, and somebody's going to love you for that very rainbow that you're putting forth in the world. A lot of people that don't see it, they're allowing the hurt that they've been through to saturate them so much that that's all they know and that's all they speak. Mm -hmm. So when they see you all happy and go lucky, they say little sly little comments and little, you know, the undertone of everything. But if you're like me, the hopeful romantic and the hopeful lover, you're just going to smile and know that, hey, one of these days you're going to be bit with the quote-unquote love bug like I was and like Noriega the King was and what's going to happen then? I don't want to hear, I told you so. I just want you to apply what you saw us do Mm -hmm. into Mm -hmm. your own life. Or even if you don't want to do that, do your own thing and go forward and set the example for the younger generation. And I feel that's what we're doing now is setting an example for anybody of any age. Mm -hmm. We can conquer our past and bring in a good good future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so at the end of the day, we're, we're we're evolving to something bigger and better. Oh yes, you know. So you have to also look at the growth of people. You know, you yeah. can go through something one day, but then the next day you're going to grow because you're going to say, "Now I can use it as a positive instead of a negative." But right. some people use a negative as just a negative, and they don't think to use it as a positive to get to the next level, to get to the next thing, because they they always down there. You know, they don't try to pick themselves up. Me personally. When I get something negative, I'll take that negative and turn it into a positive. Mm-hmm. So to say it like this, when I'm feeling down, I use my music as a positive to lift me. Because mm-hmm. if I use my music, that's going to give me amp to be like, man, okay, I got it. So that's what you need to do when it comes to certain in your relationship. Take that negative and turn it into a positive. Absolutely. So, oh, yeah. So... I must ask. Yes. What is this big surprise that we've been anticipating <laughs> There's for several. far too long? <laughs> it's never. Um, first off, we're in, we're introducing ourselves to the world as Norris and Billy in a relationship. We're letting people know that we are currently in a relationship and we've been in a relationship for four months strong. Um, the second surprise is upcoming 2023. Mm-hmm. We are working on a project together. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we're not going to say the name. I'm not going to give out too too much information. There's always surprises along the way, uh, but it's huh. coming. Okay. And that's just, that's just two out of the many other ones, and. 
um, like he said, and I concur with his heartbeat, is that um, we thank you for allowing this open platform to be able to be expressive and to, you know, be open for comments, questions, mm -hmm. and, you know, suggestions and advice and wisdom and all those beautiful things as to how we could possibly go forward because mm -hmm. the same goes you reach one you, you teach one you reach one right i believe if you teach one or if you reach one excuse me you can teach a million yeah because even though it may not be the same words that i use for you to tell somebody else hey you may interpret it a more positive way and it just keeps building on from there the further along it the word gets passed on so absolutely 100 percent. but this radio show right here boss lady you have effectively changed the world in so mm -hmm. many more ways that i can't even grasp i will have to write you a book thank you <laughs> thank several you so much. trilogies in order to understand the magnitude of your heartbeat and it rings out nationwide and worldwide and also like he said we have several blessings coming forth um being a part of this wonderful network and your radio show is absolutely going to be like the forefront father or the forefront mother queen mother <laughs> of so many beautiful things that you're going to be like wait a minute first there's a relationship then there's this then there, and it's going to be like a domino effect watch everybody is okay. going to be blown away in a beautiful humble way <laughs> absolutely so is there any blessings or surprises you care to mention for this particular special uh episode? i will say, I, I will say this real quick we are waiting on um some results and i will say that oh and we're hoping we're hoping for the best and we will as soon as we know um the blessed beautiful fortunate god mother of soul will know when we know <laughs> oh okay okay yeah uh, my yeah. my heart just went in my tip of my finger, so I'm gonna put it back real quick. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm yeah. getting ready to hold both my face in both my hands, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I did not mean to say it like that. I was supposed to say, you know, that surprise when you hold your hands and you put your oh, face wow. in them. <laughs> Out. I can't get it out, <laughs> okay. Okay, so is there any surprises directly? Oh, um, directly? Not at the... Well, we, we, we gave the surprises. The album we're going to work on together. Um, okay. The relationship. So, so, pretty much right now, that's about it. Okay, yeah, cool. That's all, that's all we're willing to say. We have... I, I'm looking at him and... Um, <laughs> and I know I'm the one who usually does a lot of the talking, so he's just looking at me like, now you know, at any given moment, you just might say what what the other few surprises is, but we got to keep, keep it on a hush. But you will definitely know, because you mm -hmm. are, like I said, a very, um, a, you are, let me see a very beautiful orchid in the field of daisies and roses, but you stand out as a leader amongst many of them. Yes. By mm -hmm. the stock that you come from. Mm -hmm. And so by you doing so, we have no choice but to show admirable admiration for you being open to us. Yes. Because there's a lot of people that I'm sure is not open to us that can throw in our face plenty of times and that have when we're together and when we're not together that, hey, do you know what she's been through? Hey, do you know what he's been through? I don't know their past. I know they're right now. And I know mm -hmm. that I came in their life written in the books mm -hmm. for a reason. Yeah. What? So that's all I know. And that's all that is. <laughs> Absolutely. You're talking about somebody I don't even recognize. I'm surprised you still recognize them and haven't moved on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> you know? There's that. So, musically... Yes. 
where are you two musically? Like, I know we got the smooth sounds of Noriega the King, and then we're still pushing the Deep in My Thoughts um, album here, The Struggles of the One Hand mm. Producer. Like, what is your journey musically, and how did y'all connect there? Well, we connected there because she writes poems. Mm -hmm. So I felt like her poems could be the beats to my music. Mm. And so I was like, we might as well do something like this album to mm. show people that it's her poems, but my music is the backbone to that. And basically the, the poetry is the words of our, what our heart beat. When our hearts beat, mm -hmm. these are the lyrics that house within that. Mm -hmm. So everybody will get a chance to witness what the actual heart sounds like when you convey it on record and when you convey it on paper and when you talk about it to people. You should be able to talk about love to people and they smell it. Mm -hmm. They taste it, they hear it, they know it in their heart for what it is, they touch it. It's, mm -hmm. it's something tangible. It's not mm -hmm. something of a figment of imagination. And they also drink it. As they're reading it, they're drinking mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. drinking it so well... Yeah. It, it, it seeps into their mind and then it comes out of their eyes like, wow, I did mm -hmm. not know that. Mm -hmm. And they look at the next person and be like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As if they've never seen them before. Right. Yeah. Because of those words. Yeah. yeah. Man. So, at the end of the day, we should be mm -hmm. seeing some new music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some dating with purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. And maybe some more flowers in the garden. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I must congratulate hey. both of you for having the guts and gumption. Even though you probably heard things that is not feasible or adding value. To your relationship mm -hmm. but you still are here oh yeah, yeah. yeah. still yeah. going strong yeah, Go so ahead. I'll ask you five years from now if the going gets tough and the, and the, and the going gets tougher mm -hmm. what would be your EDU for struggling couples we already got the fact that you're going to stay together mm -hmm. probably for the rest of your lives, but life happens, things change, and so does people. What's your thoughts on that? I, I would say always remembering what brought you together in the first place. A lot of mm -hmm. people say, well, you got to, you know, remember that love conquers all and all this other stuff. Yes, and so does communication and understanding and um, being 100% within yourself. And it's okay even if you're not because the person that you feel, oh, my goodness, you, you, you're in my life for a reason. Everything seems to be going right. They are the missing link for however long they're in your life to help you and guide you along this way. It's not that they're trying to manipulate you or anything, but they are... So they're, um, they have more than one purpose, but the pungent of that, their sole purpose is to help guide you smoothly through a repeat session of PTSD, of past traumas and all this other stuff of mm. people saying and people mm. doing things to you because there are people who can like the wolf in sheep's clothing. And it's like, once you think that they're something that they're not, only time will tell. And mm -hmm. if there's a person with a purpose coming into your life, that person or those people or those places or things have no choice but to flee away from you. And mm -hmm. that's why leaves fall mm -hmm. because they're not meant to grow further and grow up with you. The stronger and the bigger and the, you know, the, the more, uh, the more purposeful that you get. Just as long as you're weak, they're always going to stick around and suck from you and all this other stuff. But once you see that tree sprout up within yourself, then leaves are going to fall. And your your branches are going to get strong, which is your heart. 
and the chambers of your heart and what you house and what mm-hmm. you think about, what you see, mm-hmm. what you talk, who you connect with. All everything is connected. Yeah. So just pay attention to that and that's what's gonna keep us connected. And also not to repeat your what was in your past in your present. That's a major key that a mm-hmm. lot of people mess mm-hmm. up on. It's repeating their past into their present and making it making it harder on the present. Mm-hmm. So people have to not try to repeat their past. So they have to take that present and enjoy that and make something beautiful out of it and make that person happy, as happy as they can. Mm-hmm. Regardless of how long it's going to take for them to capture that heart. Mm-hmm. Just make it happy. And they have to understand within themselves too also, uh, King, is that um, they have to know that they once that person makes them happy, they have to be happy within themselves yes. as far as just because I meet you at 50% and you're at 100%, mm-hmm. you can't keep pouring into me if I don't pour into me and I got to get out of the comfort zone of what used to be, what used to fit me and used to suit me. How many people can tell you I'm the same size as high school if they don't have a high metabolism mm-hmm. of burning a thousand plus calories a day? Right. I don't have a high metabolism. I, I weigh more than I did in high school. My thought process, my heart, who I interact with, of course, I, you know, have a daughter. She's 20. She just turned 20. So it's like things have changed mm-hmm. and I can no longer try and fit this mold of this is the way it will always be when I see it's totally different. Mm-hmm. So since I see it's totally different, I make adjustments and all that other stuff that's going to properly benefit me. And since he came along, it's not saying he erased half of his identity and who he is mm-hmm. to, okay, I'm going to go with you. Whatever you say, this is it. No, mm-hmm. tell me what's going on with you and let us mold each other more so into each other and mm-hmm. go where we're supposed to go. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because it's like we hear a lot about head of household, mm-hmm. who runs the show, who's the boss, and I was talking to a couple at work. Well, she was by herself. She wasn't with her husband. I guess he was in the car. Mm-hmm. And she brought me some material to work on for her. And it was for her and her husband's anniversary. And I said, well, how long have you even been married? Oh, I'll say about 41 years. Mm-hmm. Right. And I said, what's the secret? And she said, there's no secret. What you just said, Billy and Nori, if you're able to communicate, even though you're not agreeing with how they're feeling, listen anyway. And you'd be amazed if you just listen and instead of trying to respond first and really feel where the other person's coming from, you'll really get to see that it's not worth arguing about at all. Right. Hmm. Uh Because you have to come to an understanding at some point, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and if you can't come to an understanding, it's always going to be torn. It's always going to be torn or in there. If you can't come to that understanding, Mm -hmm. you have to sit down and really talk about it, really convey and get it out what you're really feeling, you know, because that's the only way that person's going to really understand is if you talk, if you shut down, it ain't nothing. They're going to say whatever, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And also the the other person has to be willing to not only when you convey to them, hey, these are my feelings and it's not to override your feelings, but I just want to let you know how I feel on a certain subject or whatever the case may be. But please tell me how you feel about it. And you guys come to some common level, equal ground not one nitpicking over the other because that's not going to benefit anybody. Right. Well, if anything, it's what what relationship is competition? Right. And there is no such thing. Neither is a situation ship. Comp- it should be competition. Uh, a situation ship. Now that's something is. else so right there. It's like, yeah. why would you take something so beautiful in its rare form and try to contort it into something else because you don't like the way it is. If you don't like the way it is, move around. There's a lot of people and a lot of things and a lot of whatever 
that suit what you're going for or what you don't want to go for and what you're all about as opposed to taking that toxic waste of a aura and trying to, you know, place it on somebody else. That's why I think a lot of people get into those arguments because one is trying to, what my grandma used to say, big dick the other one. is mm-hmm. trying to tell the other one, hey, my opinion matters more than yours. I'm more bigger than you because I've lived longer and I've had more experience. Mm-hmm. Being older and having more experience doesn't do nothing. It does absolutely nothing. It's how you, what you've been through and you came out of that, what you took from that going forward to be able to help you and help other people. That's what makes you, you know what I'm saying? You, you. But you mm-hmm. also have to come to an understanding of what makes that person feel the way they feel because if you don't hear them you're just bypassing what they're saying like you don't care about their feelings yeah and you have to care in order to keep that strong because if you don't care they're gonna walk away feeling like they ain't listening right so you know it's it's hard to pinpoint you tell them but you're not listening right you know so there is a difference between listening and hearing and comprehending and understanding it all is. of those. It, it is. It, and, it, and it comes in levels. Yep. It comes in, at different times. Some things that are conveyed, you won't understand it, but you'll hear it. Yeah. Or you're listening to it, but you won't, you know, understand it. So it's like everything, it, it comes at a time and place and things. And sometimes it may not come from the people that you really need to hear it from because you don't want to you may have had bad dealings from those people or you may just be in a different headspace so no I need to keep on doing this but sometimes slow down Mm. sit down take a breather meditate drink you some chamomile vanilla lavender tea by Celeste which I drink I suggest it's calming it's beautiful Mm. do that listen to that calming music I listen to bossa nova music or I write and I talk to my king, and my king helps me navigate. There's always somebody, and it doesn't have to be your partner, somebody designated necessarily that will help you. You get what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Like this. And that's what I love about it. But most importantly, you know, if you're in a relationship, that should be the first person that you go to. Like, hey, I'm having an issue with something or whatever, and it's causing me to feel like we might have an issue within our relationship what do you feel about this because i know how i feel but i would like to hear you first Mm -hmm. because just because you bring it up don't mean that you should be oh you get a gold ticket you get a gold star how about you go first and your feelings matter more than your partners even though you're asking Mm -hmm. for Mm -hmm. their advice or their suggestion as to what to go about you know yes ma'am that's a good point you know, it, it, it really eliminates the control syndrome that some people have. Mm-hmm. It really eliminates you from mistaking something that's like a threat instead of another opportunity to, mm-hmm. you know, explore more and become stronger oh, yeah. in the relationship. So definitely some how to how to really think a different way about it. Oh, yeah. we, but we're going to take a quick break in, into the second half. You know what I'm saying? And then when we come back, we're going to get a couple pieces from Miss uh, Billie Jean. Hear some of her poetry tonight. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Uh, don't go nowhere. Come soon to Boss Ladies Radio Show Matchmaker. Featuring me, Queen Billie Jean. This is Norris the Key. Coming soon to Boss Lady's Radio Show, May 21st, 9 p.m. Central. Matchmaker. It works for real, for real. It's going to be a great show, y'all. Pay attention and listen to Hey, yo. It's your boy, Drazy. CEO, DJ, and programmer for Dre's Radio Cafe. You got a banging cut that you want to be heard? Got a show coming up? A gig? You want to sell some products? You name it. Send it to Dre's Radio Cafe. 
Dre's Radio Cafe is a 24-7 internet radio station designed with you in mind by being heard by 150,000 listeners every month. What does that mean to you? That means more than just going to YouTube, more than just going to Google, more than just having the SoundCloud up, more than just having any of the other programs set up. All right? So check this out. What I want you to do is send your banging cuts, your ads, anything that you have involved that you want to get involved with to D-R-E-Z-E-Y-2-1 at Yahoo.com. That's D-R-E-Z-E-Y-2-1 at Yahoo.com. That's Dre's Radio Cafe, 24-7 radio, designed with you in mind. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Another night while I'm waiting on this sexy chocolate coming to my girl.
This is your award-winning indie artist, Larry D. Edwards. I'm chilling out listening to Boss Lady Radio, a.k.a. Miss Fabulous, award-winning indie artist herself, as well as award-winning radio announcer and host. So, sit back and enjoy the sounds of Larry. Girl, go away. Drop that ish, Boss Lady. Larry Z, falling in love. From your loving, girl, I just can't deny. You got me caught up in your sensual vibe. It's so good to have you in my world. You were mainstream, worth more than a diamond, more valuable than a pearl. Got me back in the game. I thought I was through, and I owe it all to you, owe it all to you. Baby, baby, you got me falling in love with you, baby. Oh, baby, baby, you got me falling in love with you, girl. Can't believe I'm at this love thing again. Wanted to fall back. Close my heart and let nobody in But you came along at a time when I was looking for no one After all you showed me I needed someone But with you I let down my guard No reason to hold up a wall No, 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 not so far You came in my life when I needed you the most Let's pour a glass of love and let's propose a time Public service announcement. If you feeling this vibe, I need y'all to listen up right now. Listen up and do exactly as I tell you. Come on. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, ladies, get on the dance floor. One, two, three, get on the dance floor. Hey, ladies, get on the dance floor. One, two, three, get on the dance floor. Hey, fellas, get on the dance floor. One, two, three, get on the dance floor. Hey, fellas, get on the dance floor. One, two, three, get on the dance floor. I said, baby. Stop drinking. I'm gonna book report. Let's go. You see, ever since you've been gone, I've been drinking and crying. I was wasted. I was sick. Maybe I just wanna turn my back down. See, I can't build without you. I'm going out of my mind. I'm drinking and crying. Like glass, she poured it out in my hands. I thought that I could live again, yeah. But here comes the hurt again. The first of the tears that I'm gonna fight, every ocean that I'm gonna cry. I thought that for sure I was through drinking. Here comes Girl, the drink I and escape drinking. Shout it, you killing me right now, baby. And my blood sugar up so high. And my heart can't take the pain, baby. Girl, I gotta stop drinking. 
I hope you like must like.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. You know what I'm saying? Billy G says, good night, all those leaving and having to go to school, work, or anything that involves busy away from home or in another room for hours. <laughs> Have a great night and talk to you later. I know that's right, child, because we finna get on up out of here. But any shout y'all, shout outs y'all want to give out before we close out? Well, I want to give a shout out to Boss Lady Radio and the whole team. Um, I want to give a shout out to my queen, Billy Jean. I want to give a shout out to myself, you know, you're the king. Hey, Amen. Uh, <laughs> and boss lady, I want to give a shout out to you. And uh, thank, thank you. everybody for tuning in to the show. Pay attention, listen up. Major things coming on away from both of us. Um, and we on the move. All right. And I concur. I concur. I have, I have absolutely the utmost respect for those that, um, want to learn and want to share in their wisdom and you have been one of the instrumental people that we talk about frequently when we're not in chat as well as when we're in chat we speak highly about you because yes. what we learn from you is very important going forward in our lives both individually as well as as well as collectively and i just want to thank you I want to thank God. I want to thank all the beautiful people who tuned in to show yeah. their support. And, um, yes, ma'am. Thank and you. Just, you know, be open and be thankful and be humble and real about, you know, how they're feeling and their emotions and what they would like to see out of life. Because you got to want more than what you see just, you know, to the left and to the right of you. Mm -hmm. There's so much more that meets the eye. That's yes, what we tell people. Mm -hmm. When you get to know me, there's more, you know, to me. I'm like an onion. There's layers, like yes. a flower. There's petals, mm -hmm. you know. So, and I'll be trying to cry, but she keep pulling them onions, but I, you know. Like, <laughs> you know. Aww. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, shout out to you guys for you know wanting to build. Uh, you know, Boss Lady Radio, without you guys, I wouldn't be the six-time award-winning podcast. And as to everybody, but especially you two being the first um, couple on the show that wanted to share your um, your your poetry, your, your music, and your relationship. So kudos to you. Many blessings in the future, moving forward, and all the rest of that. You know, and I'm so very proud of both of you because you found what you were looking for. And on this show, that's what the dream is about. People finding what they're looking for, where they, it could be added value to their life. So I really appreciate hearing that. Um, also, too, is anybody or Billy, you got a quick little poetry to little poetry piece you can roll off for us to end the night. I have been looking at, because I write, you know, freestyle all over the place, oh. especially on my page. Okay. Um, and I don't really freestyle it necessarily as well as I probably should or, you mm -hmm. know, um, what do they say, that keep it in your mind and recite it like that. I can't, I, I haven't been able to do that for a long time, so I just, I don't know. <laughs> I got one. Uh -oh, okay. Okay. As I look into your eyes, I say a beautiful queen. Take this honor and be my queen forever. If you want, if you're here with me, it's going to be all right. You know what it is, and you know how I rock. Maria, you're the king. When oh. I look into your eyes, I see the king that you are destined to be. When you hold me close to you, I feel in life I am your queen. For future essence and for future Lessons learned. This is something that I believe God written down that we both earn. There's something so magical and real in the way that we speak to one another's hearts. I doubt that anybody that comes in contact with us wouldn't even know where to start, wouldn't even know where to begin because this is not the end. Yeah. This is something that is set in stone that's going to keep us rolling 
and mm-hmm. keep us going forth. The yes. flowers you have given me, I plan to plant them all over the earth. Mm. And the flowers you've given me, I plan to plant them all over you and not all over the earth. Because you deserve the flowers today. You deserve the flowers tomorrow. So let's keep on rocking and make this happen. I'll we're going to get it We're going to do what we need to do. Because you got me and yeah, I, I got, got you. Oh, that is so cute. Leave it up, y'all. <laughs> All right. It's Noriega the King. War winning Noriega the King, a.k.a. T.O.H.P. and Miss Poetry. You know what I'm saying? Billy Jean. You know what I'm saying? And that's really all we had to say. Good afternoon, morning, and evening. We'll see you soon. Next show. Peace. And don't give up on love. That's right. (laughs) Yeah, give it up. Y'all have a good night. Be safe. We are now transferring you to a customer care rep. Please hold the line and we will answer your call as soon as possible. Thank you for choosing. By the way, to ensure you're getting great service, your call may be recorded or monitored.